What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. Got my bro Evan here with us, coming to hang out, gonna be holding the mitts. But we're here at the UFC Performance Institute, right here in Vegas during International Fight Week. So we're here taking advantage of this awesome facility and bringing it to you guys. We're doing a technique. What technique are you doing, man? Today, we're gonna be working on the question mark kick, AKA the Brazil kick. Bam! All right guys, about that question mark kick. I've already done an episode on my roundhouse kick. It's another version of the roundhouse kick. It's a little trickier. Uh, the question mark kick, it's a sneak kick. We like to, to sneak this kick around after a setup technique like the front kick. You're stabbing your foot into their body, making them drop their hands. Next thing you know, when you bring that knee up, they think you're gonna hit them right to the body again, so they drop those hands to protect those ribs. Boom, Boom. you bring that leg right over, Lights and then they out. question why they drop their hands to protect their Boom. body. Boom, or get Superman punched. <laughs> Luke Rockhold throws a good question mark kick. Holly Holmes. Holly Holmes got a good question mark kick. And there's different versions of that question mark kick. John Jones did it against Cormier. Uh, wasn't that much of a, of, a, of a question mark kick, but it was a good fake to the body and he took it up top and TKO. This kick does require a lot of extra uh, hip dexterity and flexibility. So make sure you warm up, get a good stretch in before you go out there and start sparring and start practicing it. Check out my Technique Tuesday about my stretching routine, by the way, just wanted to throw that out there. A few key components to make this kick work. Number one is gonna be the setup. Number two is gonna be foot and hip rotation. And number three, the whipping of the foot. All right, so we're gonna talk about the first component. Number one is gonna be the setup. Now, a lot of people like to set this kick up by think, getting his partner to think low. All right, I gotta drop my hands to block this. I gotta drop my hands to block this. And that's how you make this kick work. Some people like to throw like a front kick. Now, some people also like to throw that leg kick right here, back leg, trying to hit that lead leg, thinking them low. Or some people like to throw a roundhouse kick to the body. And those are perfect techniques to use to set up for this question mark kick. Number two key component is gonna be rotation of the front foot and the hips. This is very important to make this kick work and to get the whip on that foot. I'm in my good fighting stance, okay? What I'm gonna do is as I bring this leg up, now this also has to be a delayed reaction. Your, your partner wants to believe that you're gonna throw a front kick or a kick to the lead leg. I want my opponent thinking I'm throwing a front kick. Boom, just like so. Keeping those hips straight. Now this is where the tricky part comes in. As my leg comes up, that's when the rotation happens. So it's last minute. The last key component, number three, the whipping of the leg. Now, in order to make this whip happen, you have to have steps one and two down first. Now, let me show you what I mean by the whipping of the leg. The leg is very important. It's gotta stay fairly flexible as you do it. So as I bring it up, I've gotta be able to whip my leg around and rotate all at the same time. So it's almost as if my foot rotates, my hip rotates, my foot lands all in one motion. Boom. Whipping that leg. I'm gonna have my brother Evan right here grab uh, a kicking pad for you guys. We're gonna show you guys how we do it. Pad. Now you see how on. I helped him. Are you ready? Pad on. You ready? I'm ready. Now remember, whenever you guys are working this kick, it doesn't have to be max power. Whenever you're executing it, it may feel a little weak, but that's okay. Because you know what, to actually do damage, you don't need full power on your roundhouse kick. I don't think I've ever hit anybody with a roundhouse kick or even a round kick on full power. You hit them just right, it will be effective. All right guys, appreciate y'all hanging out with me and my bro Evan. Just a little recap guys, make sure you get a good stretch and good warm up, good hip dexterity, so this, work, this, this kick works to maximum potential. Three steps, number one, it's gonna be the setup of that kick. Number two, making sure the front foot and the hip rotation, that is key. And number three, the whipping of the kick. The making sure that foot. happens, that's right. Making sure the that foot. happens all at once. Work on it, practice it. I wanna see you guys doing it. Send me videos of you guys practicing doing this kick. Hit me up in the DMs, Wonderboy MMA, Instagram or Twitter. I wanna see it.